continues at this hour for a runaway bull after it brutally attacked a Wabash Valley woman. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Patrice Dayton. It's a bizarre story that has the entire town of Palestine, Illinois, searching for a Texas Longhorn on the loose. His sense of manager, Jared, talks to those who saw the attack and tells us what officials are doing tonight to find this dangerous animal. It's business as usual at Stork Slaughterhouse with cattle ready for processing. But workers say it was a much different scene Sunday as a longhorn got loose attacking its owner. Pretty much right in here, it just mauled her. You can see the print still down here from the beef, and that's pretty much where it happened at. It hit her twice in the chest and just tried to stomp on and rode her around with its head. Then it ran off into the woods, launching a large-scale ground and aerial search. Other than a broken gate and some prints, there aren't many clues as to where the bull may be. I did shoot it. Uh, it left a blood trail. We tracked it through a uh, cornfield, and uh, and once it exited the cornfield, we lost every single track. Officials are asking everyone to be on the lookout in the woods, in neighborhoods, even downtown. It turned on one person doesn't mean it won't turn on somebody else. So. I definitely want to get it corralled if it's still alive. While the town is buzzing about the elusive bull, the attack is something workers at Storks won't soon forget. Seeing somebody getting attacked like that, just like on TV, you seen the running of the bulls, that's what it was doing to this lady. In Palestine, Illinois, with photojournalist John Tim, Amanda Jarrett, News 10.